our math teachers were right in telling us the truth this entire time because trigonometry is in fact useful outside of the classroom. I did have the unfortunate circumstance of having to use it when planning my next crochet project. For those of you wondering how I did the math in my last post, this is how. After doing some diligent Pinterest research on how to make this kind of skirt, I found that all you need is one square piece of fabric with a hole in the middle for your waist. To find the dimensions for your square, you'll need to find two measurements. First, find your waist measurement or wherever you want the top of your skirt to be. Second, you need to measure from the top of your skirt to where you want the bottom longest corner to end up. With our opening measurement and our length measurement, we still need to find x. First, we need to find the length between the middle of the circle and the corner of the square. We'll use the circumference of the circle to solve for our radius using the formula circumference over 2 pi. That gave me roughly 5 inches for my measurements. Adding our radius to our original length measurement, we get our y length. Making this little section into a right triangle now, this top left one is going to be 90 degrees, the other two will be 45. Remember those two. If you're lazy like me, just go ahead and search up right triangle calculator. I went ahead and used that very first option. So these fields are going to pop up. So the diagonal C is going to be that y value that we just calculated. So go ahead and fill that out. And degrees on the side, we only need to put one in. So those will be our 45 degree angles. And we only need two values in total. So go ahead and get rid of that third one. I hit calculate here. And now we're given our ending values. So there's the 15 inches and the 45 that we inputted. And we're told that A and B are 10.6 for me. Going back to my little diagram, I'm just plugging in the A and B values that I got, so 10.6 on each side, but x is equal to double of this edge because this line splits this side into two. So multiplying that 10.6 by 2, I get roughly 22 inches. This whole big deal finally gets us to our final dimension, so for me it's a 22 by 22 square, but we also need to account for the hole that's going to be in the middle for the opening. So just go ahead and divide your circumference by 4, and that will give you the dimensions for the square hole that's going to be in the middle. If you want this to be a fillet crochet design like I'm doing, you need to do the extra step and make a little swatch to see how many of these squares will fit into your dimensions. So after doing this swatch, I found that I had 4 squares per 1 inch. So my 22 inch dimensions for my square translates into 88 squares. So 22 inches times 4, I get an 88 by 88 grid. But all in all, just use that right triangle calculator. That's my best friend.